A warm welcome to our hour of reflective prayer. My name is Sue and I will be sharing this time with Tricia. Wherever and whenever you watch this, I hope you'll be able to find a quiet space around you and inside of you. In a few moments, Tricia will lead us in a time of settling, quietening down and preparing ourselves for hearing and being attentive to God. Then I will read a passage from the New Testament and suggest a way of praying with these words. But of course, something else may have struck you that you would prefer to go with, and that's absolutely fine. We then have the opportunity to pray in silence for about 20 minutes. The scripture will be on the screen, but you may want to use your own Bible and go off to somewhere away from the computer screen for this time of quiet. And we gather together at the end for a short time. So now I'll hand over to Tricia. Hello. As Sue has said, I'm Tricia. And I am going to be leading us into this time of settling down and preparation for moving into the main body and time of prayer this evening. It's very different using a media to work together like this from when we might have uh, joined in church. The settling down is different. There we take off our coats if it's warm enough and we are gathered in a circle in fairly upright chairs. At home, we are often tend to be much more casual and relaxed. But I'd like to suggest for this time together this evening, especially if this is the first time you are with us, that you might choose a fairly upright chair for this time. You may want to press the pause button while you find one, and that's fair enough. But once you have found one, uh, then I suggest that you sit down on it firmly with your back against the seat and your feet, both feet, firmly on the ground. It is said that our head is the heaviest part of us. And so that is the reason for having our back well supported. So we are sitting upright and our head is properly balanced. But now I'd like you to start down at your feet. Just be aware of both feet touching the ground. Be aware of your feet within your shoes or slippers, if you are wearing any, or of your feet and your toes upon the carpet, whatever floor covering you might have. Wiggle those toes around. Feel the, your feet, your heels on flat on the ground. And then very slowly, move up your legs, flexing your muscles, tighten them and then release them. Tighten them and then release them. And then continue moving up your legs to your thighs. Be aware of your bottom sat on the seat of the chair. How does that feel? Pay some attention to it. How does it feel against the firmness of the seat? What can you sense of your clothes touching your skin? And then continue moving up your body. Let's move, just move your right arm. 
Give that a little bit of movement. Stretch it out. Move it around. Wiggle your fingers. What can you feel? Are they nicely relaxed? Is it slightly painful? Do the same with your left arm. Move that around. Wiggle your fingers. How does that feel? Is it slightly painful? Are they a bit achy? Now rest them gently on your lap. Move up your body and to your shoulders. Often by the end of the day, our shoulders and our neck can get quite stiff. So just move them around. Move your neck and your head and your shoulders. And then stop. And just be aware of the sensations around that part of your body. And continue moving up over your head. Feeling your hair, how that feels, or if you are bald, can you feel the air around your head? What are the sensations there and around your face? If you wear glasses, can you feel them touching your face? And then very slowly, just move back down your body, noting how each part of it feels. The texture of your clothes, the air around you, right down to your feet. The firmly placed on the ground. And now stop and listen. What are the sounds that you can hear? Is it a clock ticking? Perhaps the wind or rain, whatever the weather is like when you are actually listening to this. Maybe still the occasional bird. people passing. And now pay attention to your sense of smell. What can you smell? Often we think, I can't smell anything. But when we stop, when we stop, there is often some different smell around. That is especially so out of doors, but also indoors. It may be by this time of day, the smell of the cooking that you or someone else has done in the house.
It may be the scent of flowers that you have in a vase. It may be just the smell of the house. Each house has its own smell, just as each person does, if we will stop and smell. And now, let us move to pay attention to our breathing. That gift of God to us, of life itself. For the moment, don't alter it, just be aware as you breathe in and out. And now take one or two deeper breaths. Breathing in God's gift of life to you. And breathing out in thankfulness. Breathing in the gift of life. And breathing out in thankfulness. Take a few more deeper breaths. And then very slowly, return to this space, ready for Sue to lead us in the centre of prayer for this evening. The passage of scripture that we're going to be listening to this evening is from Ephesians, one of Paul's prayers. And chapter 3 goes like this. For this reason I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth takes its name. I pray that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant that you may be strengthened in your inner being with power through his spirit, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith as you are being rooted and grounded in love. I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who, by the power at work within us, is able to accomplish abundantly far more than all we can ask or imagine, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus, to all generations, for ever and ever. Amen. As I read it again, I'd like to suggest that you hear it as if someone is praying it for you and notice how it makes you feel. A word or a phrase may have caught your attention which you would like to stay with and ponder in the presence of God during our time of silence. Or you may just want the whole prayer to wash over you. For this reason I bow my knees before the Father, 
from whom every family in heaven and on earth takes its name. I pray that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant that you may be strengthened in your inner being with power through his spirit and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith as you are being rooted and grounded in love. I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth and to know the love of Christ which surpasses knowledge so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who by the power at work within us is able to accomplish abundantly far more than all we can ask or imagine. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations for ever and ever. Amen. Now is your opportunity to take those words and find a space where you can be quiet and pray with them. See what the Lord has to say to you through them.
welcome back. I hope this has been a nourishing time, however you used it. Just a thought as we draw our time to a close. We have been listening to and pondering this passage from Ephesians um, as a prayer for ourselves. But in the next hours and even days, you might like to also pray this prayer for someone you know that might enrich our intercessions. So now I'm going to, to hand over to Tricia again to close with a blessing. Thank you for joining us this evening. I trust that in your various situations, it has been a meaningful time for you as it has been for us. And we look forward to seeing you again or for you seeing us again next month, October, the third Tuesday of October. Goodbye for now and God bless.